Okay, absolute value equations um, can be a little bit difficult. I'm going to show you a few steps. The first thing that you're going to want to do is isolate for the absolute value signs. Get the everything. So if there would have been, say, a number on the outside of here and maybe a plus or a minus a number, you're going to want to get rid of all of that stuff and get the absolute value uh, by itself first. Okay, second step is... Remember, absolute value is the distance from zero, okay? So that means that, so if we have the absolute value of x is equal to 6, well, you can go 6 spaces this way, or you can go 6 spaces this direction. So you would have to remove the absolute value signs and set x equal to 6 and x is equal to negative 6. So you're going to remove the absolute value bars to set up both a positive and negative equation. All right. The third thing is you're going to solve like you normally would. Fourth thing, remember, absolute values cannot equal a negative number because distance, distance, is always positive. So this one right here, you could immediately write no solution because the absolute value of all of this cannot be equal to negative 54. Now it could be equal to 54. If that were equal to 54, you would then remove the absolute value and you would set it equal to 54 and negative 54. Those would be your two equations. But when the absolute value is equal to a negative number and there's nothing on the outside to simplify first, then you can just write no solution. All right. So I think there's one. All right. So here's one that we're going to experiment with. Remember, the first step I said, you're going to isolate the absolute value. So we're going to divide both sides by 8. And that leaves us with all of this is equal to 12. Remember the second step. The second step is remove the absolute value and set it up equal to two equations. So we canceled the 8s, and now we're going to set up negative 7a plus 5 is equal to 12, and negative 7a plus 5 is equal to negative 12. And remember the third step. The third step is solve. So we're going to subtract 5 both sides. But look at, I can do that over here too. That cancels. And now you have negative 7a is equal 12. Subtract 5 is 7. Divide both sides by negative 7. a is equal to negative 1. Come over here. Those canceled negative 7a is equal, well, negative 12 plus negative 5, or you could say it subtract 5, is negative 17. We're going to divide both sides by negative 7. And we have a is equal, well, negative divided by negative is a positive, so you end up with 17 sevenths. And you do not have to convert that to a decimal unless the instructions tell you to uh, round to the nearest tenth or something. And I think, let's see if there is another one that we can do down here. Um, all right, that's all I have for the absolute value one. So pretty easy. Um, and then we're going to do inequality ones, inequality absolute value.